Okay, I'm gonna do a three-part series here um, showing some basic electrical circuits. I'm upstairs in our, engine, or our electrical lab here at Crocus and I'm gonna draw some circuits, I'm going to show some circuitry and then we're gonna see it work and do some tests. So the first one that I'm gonna start with today is called the series circuit. And I'm just gonna simply draw out um, a series circuit here so you can see it. I'm gonna start with a battery source Okay, and I'm gonna represent it with these uh, short and long lines here. And um, we're always gonna run straight to a fuse, no matter what circuit we're building. It's just the safest to always have the fuse as the first thing that we have. Then I'm going to put in a switch. And then what I'm going to do is put in a series of loads. And here at Crocus, we use light bulbs as our loads. So I'm gonna put in two loads connected in series. What makes this a series circuit is that there's only one path for the electricity to flow to from the positive of the battery to the negative of the battery. So power is gonna leave the battery and it's gonna travel through the fuse, through the switch, and then it's gonna go into one light bulb and light that light bulb. It's gonna go into the other light bulb and light that light bulb, okay? so. What it's gonna end up looking like is something like this. Um, I've got my electrical board here. And I'm just gonna get it to a better view. Got a battery so we can power it and such. So, first off, I'm going to hook up a fuse. So I've got an inline 10 amp fuse right here and that should be good there. The fuse is gonna feed my switch. Um, so I've got a rocker switch here. It should work just great. I'll have to bolt that little sucker down so he stops taking away on me. Try to keep this as easy to see visually as I can. Okay, and then um, from the switch, we're gonna go through two different light bulbs. So I'm gonna put a light bulb, one end of the light bulb on here and one here. Um, light bulbs do technically have uh, positives and grounds and if you're only powering one of the filaments in the light bulb, it hardly matters which one's which. It won't really light any different or anything, but um, the green happens to be the positive on this one, and the black happens to be the negative. So where power is gonna go through the positive, through the light bulb, through the ground, and in through this one, and, and out. And that's my basic circuit. What I'm gonna need is some way to connect the power. So I'm gonna put um, a positive connection on the fuse and I can go ahead and hook this up to the battery. I haven't completed the circuit so nothing's going to happen yet. I'm gonna just check to see that my switch is off for when I get to that part, it's not a big deal. And now I'm gonna bolt up my negative connection, my ground connection and that will complete my series circuit. So my series circuit being Power leaving the battery, traveling through my fuse and up to my switch. Right now my switch is open, so nothing would happen. But when I close my switch, power is gonna flow into this light bulb and then into this light bulb. And it'll look something like this. So I'll hook it up and turn on the switch. And that's a working series circuit. Okay. So something about a series circuit. First off, we don't use too many series circuits or at all. They, they're they used in some control sides of computers and things like that, but we don't really use uh, series circuits. And you're gonna see why um, shortly. Right now I'm gonna take my multimeter that I have here and I'm gonna just test some voltages to show you some things about a series circuit. 
The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to test across my battery to show you what battery voltage that I have. I have 12.3 volt, 3.4 volts, okay, which is quite normal for a fully charged 12 volt battery or close to. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how much voltage is available to run these lights. This is called voltage drop when I measure across a source like this. And that just means that the difference between this bolt and this bolt is 5.94 volts, which means this, um, this load here, this resistance is slowing down the voltage by that much, by about six volts. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna measure the other light bulb and I've got a 6.26, okay? These numbers should be relatively the same if they're the same light bulb. But what that's showing you is that when you make a, a circuit with a series circuit and you put the power into one light bulb, the power has to travel through to the next, that um, you're not gonna get 12 volts to those light bulbs. And you're gonna notice that these are shining fairly dimly. The next thing that you would notice is that if any of the light bulbs were to be disconnected. I'm gonna just use a piece of paper towel because that little light bulb is, is not super hot, but it's warm enough. <laughs> Try to show you. Here, just pull this light bulb out, it'll be easy. When you pull out one light bulb in a series circuit, it's gonna shut off both light bulbs. So even if one of these light bulbs were just to be burnt out, it would be the same as disconnecting it because when you uh, have a burnt out light bulb, it's just this filament inside that burns out. Okay. Um, something to know about a series circuit is that the current um, is the same everywhere. So if you were going to measure the amount of current flowing throughout this circuit, it wouldn't matter if you measured it at the positive battery cable, the negative, between any of the light bulbs, it would all be the same. Because electricity only has one path to travel. There's no branching of electricity off in a series circuit. Um, so the main reason you don't want to use a series circuit in a car is that all your loads are going to reduce the amount of voltage each one can have so if i put a third light bulb in here they would all be dividing up that 12.3 voltage available from the battery so you can see that they were about six volts for two you can predict then if i had three light bulbs they'd all drop four and if i had four light bulbs they'd only get three volts a piece which isn't very handy, okay? But that is a basic series circuit and the way that you would maybe see a wiring diagram being drawn for one. I won't spend much time on the series circuit. It's nice to know, but in the end, uh, we don't use much on cars.